I know it's not necessarily the most interesting or the most engaging topic that's been on the channel lately. Frankly, if I just wanted to get clicks and views, I just continue to do all the vaccine stuff. And don't worry, we'll get to that, I think, in the second or third video. I don't fucking remember. We normally just end up talking about the vaccine. I'm just going to see how far I can push it before I eventually get fucking yeeted off the platform. But I think that this Francis Hogan, Hagen, Hulk, I don't fucking know how to pronounce her last name, nor do I really care. I just think that she's going to be a very pivotal person in the role of, well, the upcoming censorship of the internet at large, okay? And that's going to affect everybody because all of those big tech giants, they're in the United States. And the way that this lady is getting attention, unlike any other whistleblower we've ever seen for literally anything else, okay? Most of the time, the whistleblowers that get out there, they just put the information out there, okay? And then they have their names redacted from it, or they have to end up going out on the fucking lamb like Edward Snowden, but this bitch, man, she's on every fucking front page as you can possibly think of. She's getting fluff pieces like this from the Daily Mail in an exclusive, literally, this is like the legitimate Daily Mail. This isn't like a, some sort of a parody site. It's just written like it. Exclusive Francis Hagen is a non-conformist living in San Francisco. <laughs> sure. Uh, most hipster neighborhood. Oh, okay, cool. So she looks like every Every other hipster that's there she's just one yeah okay cool as her teachers described future facebook whistleblower as one in a million with a very adult sense of humor and a passion for mitch mismatched socks what's with these people and writing fucking sock pieces a bunch of creepy feet people francis hagan 37 was revealed on sunday as the source behind a leaked trove of facebook documents which detailed how it routinely misled advertisers no she just once again just laid out how clickbait sites just fucking generate money and they're always just in the ad roll at the bottom of every website. They've been doing this for decades. She didn't really fucking break any news. In a 2011 profile, her former elementary school, this is how far they're going to go into this, but they don't want to find anything of sub substance. I talked to her elementary school teacher, Jan Bons or Bosack across her nose, uh, told her the future whistleblower was very nonconformist or was a nonconformist. Okay, I don't want to give her any undue credit went and talked about an elementary school and then referenced a post that she had in 2011 about somebody who she would have taught some what like three four decades ago at this point awesome uh, you knew she was going to be successful because she was very comfortable with who she was and yet horrifically bright and creative. That's very strange phrasing. Hagen, whose net worth is estimated between one and five million dollars because she's worked at every other company in Silicon Valley. This isn't an outsider coming in who's very nonconformist. She, in fact, fit the role very fucking well. That's why it's like none of this seems organic. Okay, literally, she should be up there on Joe Biden's fucking soundstage at the White House and giving fucking press briefings because that's what we're dealing with here in the sincerity of this person. And I don't, I really don't want to give any credit to Mark Zuckerberg, okay? Because I in all honesty, he probably has more power and influence if he really wanted to exert it than any one of the elected officials that run any of the big fucking countries in the world. Because honestly, 2 billion people, 3 billion people, okay, could be using Facebook at any given moment, okay? Instagram is as successful as that is, and WhatsApp, and whatever the fuck else he has as well. I'm sure he has some kind of a cryptocurrency gig that he has running off there on the side. He probably has some kind of a payment process as well because Jack Dorsey also has what the cash app and then he also has but I forget there's a different secret messenger that he runs as well like these guys have their fingers in literally everything so it's not like I'm trying to run cover for all of these power brokers that are out there but we got to be fair this bitch okay Hagen or Zuckerberg it really doesn't much matter it's like Hagen really wants censorship more censorship okay not just taking down illegal content she's not even talking about that type of stuff the human trafficking stuff the child pornography stuff that's on there the different rape and torture and murder fucking videos that you can see out there and if you guys went and checked that video that I linked in the other video that we did yesterday and you watched that whistleblower say what's on the fucking back end of Facebook you should be taking that shit down because that's the illegal stuff that nobody fucking wants up there okay creeps do but creeps belong in jail
So her going about it the way that it's like, oh, it's supposed somebody please think of the children. I was a non-conformist once. And it's like that's not the is that's not what you do. That's not how you go about this. So, oh, God, I find myself on the side of Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, 2021's been a weird fucking time. You find yourself in place with strange bedfellows. Zuckerberg's response to Facebook whistlebl whistleblower's testimony says claims don't make sense. I tend to agree. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has responded to claims made by former employee and whistleblower Francis Hagan in testimony before Congress on September uh, on October 5th. I can't believe we're there already. Yeah, Hagan, who used to work as a product or a lead product manager for Facebook's civic misinformation team, spoke public uh, before the Senate subcommittee on consumer protection, product safety, and data security, where she discussed the company's internal practices, particularly regarding how they disproportionately affect my children and my disinformation, all oh, my right-wing disinformation. Because that's what spurned all this on, by the way. Hagen, oh, I, I lost the very dear friend to misinformation. He went down that Q hole and he started to believe in the occult. And it's like all of that stuff was kind of banned off of Facebook in 2018, so... Have you been holding a grudge that long or what? But anyways, the hearing was initially prompted uh, by an expose by the Wall Street Journal that showed that Facebook had hidden research data on the harmful effects of its platform. And then all of a sudden she gives an interview to 60 Minutes. How very, very coincidental. Hagen accused Facebook of prioritizing profits uh, before the well-being of its users. Can you name one company? One company who does do that? No? no okay. Telling Congress that she believes Facebook's products harm children oh, enough enough you creep uh, harm children stokes the vision and weakens our democracy fuck off zuckerberg uh, was notably absent from the hearing yeah that's kind of weird it's like yeah we're just gonna shit on you but we also aren't go gonna invite you here to have a presence so you're just gonna have to deal with that on your own However, the Facebook CEO uh, took to his own platform, uh, which would have had very, or rather s substantially more reach anyways, um, on October 5th to respond to the testimony in a lengthy post in which he reiterated that the company places a special emphasis on the safety and well-being of its users while stating that Hagen's claims simply don't make sense. Now that today's testimony is o over, I wanted to reflect on the public debate we're in. And I'm sure many of you have found in the recent coverage hard to read because it just doesn't deflect or reflect the company we know. Mm, I don't necessarily agree, but okay. We care deeply about the issues of safety, well-being, and mental health. Um, okay. Once again, I'm I'm not running cover, really siding with the guys on this situation. You guys are all fucking creeps. Difficult to see coverage that misrepresents our work and our motives. At the most basic level, I think most of us just don't recognize the false picture of the company that is being painted. Many of the claims don't make any sense. Get to the point, Mark. If we wanted to ignore research, why would we create an in industry-leading research program to understand these important issues in the first place? There you go. If we didn't care about fighting harmful content, then why why would we employ so many people dedicated to this than any other company in our space even ones larger than uh, who is larger than facebook okay that's a strange thing he questioned why facebook would establish an industry leading standard for transparency and reporting okay if you wanted to hide the results of its findings at the heart of these accusations is the idea that we prioritize profit over safety and well-being that's true no, he said it's not true. The argument that we deliberately push content that makes people angry for profit is deeply illogical. Yeah, but most or much of his post then turned it claims about the company's research into children huh? while simultaneously touting Facebook's messenger service for kids, which was released in 2017. Yeah, sure, it's for kids. <laughs> But of everything published, I'm particularly focused on the questions raised about the work with my kids. I've spent a lot of time reflecting on the kinds of experiences of when he was getting his fucking updates at fucking Android. I want my kids and others to have online... And it's very important to me that everything we build is safe and good for kids. I wonder if he's one of those... um you know, tech oligarchs, much like Steve Jobs, who, if you guys remember, wouldn't allow his kids to use iPads, or there's several other industry leaders that are out there, save for a better term, who don't allow their children to use the products that they profit off of. I just find it a little bit weird. 
It's never, ever been substantiated, and we can't really dig up jobs and ask them. Zuckerberg noted that Facebook is oh has worked on bringing a similar app for children under 13 to Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. Really? I didn't know that. However, the company has currently paused those plans after being urged to do so by some 44 state attorney generals from both major parties. Yeah, yeah th that they would be by de facto. That just seems like putting all the kids into one place, and then it's just becoming a pedo's playground. Ground. Like many of you, I found it difficult to read the mischaracterization of the research how oh into how Instagram affects young people. Okay, the CEO stated that the company's internal research into Instagram found that the platform helps them when they're struggling, contrary to reports that it is harmful to mental health of teenagers. In fact, in 11 of 12 areas in the slide referenced by the journal, including serious areas like loneliness, anxiety, sadness, and eating issues, more teenage girls said they struggled with this issue, also said Instagram made those difficult times better rather than worse interesting i don't know who to believe in this one maybe just shut down instagram maybe get rid of that i don't know i don't really care either don't use it don't really care too much about it but if they're going to be using it to try to censor the rest of the internet like this is very 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 much going to lead to if it does get that far i don't think it's a foregone conclusion quite yet but they're really stacking the deck in that direction now aren't they going after the biggest social media platform out there and just saying oh it's a place where it just stokes the vision and misinformation and they just try to thrive on clickage and it's like yeah okay cool go ahead and try to apply that to literally everything else except for twitter hmm, i i don't know it just seems a little bit off if you ask me and this is also why i think that this bitch is just literally hitting all the fucking talking points facebook whistleblower accuses platform of fanning ethnic violence in myanmar and ethiopia Ethiopia. Fucking how? How? Facebook whistleblower Francis Hagen uh, during Tuesday's Senate hearing also said uh, the cited ethnic violence in Myanmar and Ethiopia as examples of destructive impact that the social media platform had on <laughs> had on society. Let, uh, let's see this bra big brain take. The former Facebook employee suggested uh, before lawmakers that there is a link between Facebook activity and violence in the regions. All right. The social media platform's algorithm facilitate hate, Hagen said, and uh, therefore put profit before. We know this already. My fear is that without action, divisive and extremist behaviors we see today are only the beginning i.e hey government take over facebook and just regulate the internet okay thanks what we saw in myanmar and now in ethiopia what are the opening chapters of a story so terrifying that nobody wants to read to the end of it can you go ahead and explain the genocide in rwanda then i i, I would just go ahead and it's like something that happened before facebook and fucking genocides that are gonna happen after all of this shit becomes irrelevant but no, it's clearly Facebook. This bitch is really, really, really bad. But how about this? Okay, Facebook executives accuse Francis Hagen of stealing thousands of internal documents and say that the whistleblower is not an expert on harmful effects of content algorithms. Yeah, imagine that. She was just some broad who was just kind of sitting there collecting a paycheck. Imagine that. Oh, but she has an MBA and she knows how algorithms work and that makes her credible. Sure, pal. Man, that is a strong, strong jaw. A uh, Facebook executive has claimed whistlebl whistleblower Frances Hagen of stealing company documents and claimed that she is not an expert on the company's content algorithms. Vice President of Content Policy Monica Bickert spoke out in a cat fight. Anyways, an interview with Fox News on Wednesday slamming. Hey, again, this is just weird. Fox News getting executives from facebook to speak glowingly about facebook and then just it, it, all of this stuff is so fucked slamming hagen today after she testified to congress bickert has said that hagen mischaracterized the internal studies oh she was reading from the same same list of things that zuckerberg had to read out uh, regarding the harmful content or uh, the harmful impact sorry of content on facebook instagram and whatsapp which uh, she presented to congress um, she didn't work on these issues oh and her testifying about them and the mischaracterization of some of the documents she stole is like if a journalist were to read another journalist's story yes a colleague's story and say oh i'm an expert on that. <laughs> sucks <laughs> that sucks She's like, yeah, can I look at your notes? Okay, cool, because I got a big exam coming up, so I just need to, you know what, know a couple of things. 
She's fucking crammed on the information. That's awesome. Uh, she's not an expert in those areas. Bro, no shit. And you know why I think this is going to start to apply to a whole bunch of other platforms as well? Uh, because we have these just little things that come out every once in a while. And once again, um, how many how many times can you honestly say things are just coincidental before you start to see a pattern show up? Accidental leak reveals U.S. government has secretly hit Google with keyword warrants to identify anyone searching certain names, addresses, and phone numbers. Yeah, obviously. Okay. The NSA was literally looking at everything you fucking do online. So why wouldn't they be working hand in hand with Google, the biggest fucking search engine on the fucking planet? Okay. Basically, the back end of everything you do on a fucking daily basis is run by Google. Why wouldn't the U.S. be working hand in hand with them? Okay. You see all of the antitrust lawsuits that are out there that are going against Facebook. Okay. Trying to break them up. Uh, it's about it. What? Three to one clip that youtube or that google gets hit with it okay google owns a lot of shit okay they have the biggest website and then they have the second biggest website in youtube okay they run the net why wouldn't they be working with them this totally makes sense let's just get a little taste of this the u.s government is using keyword warrants to uncover the identity of anyone who searches google and any or other search engines for certain term special search terms that may be related to crime according to a new report oh cool the controversial practice what of spying on everybody using google okay no, which is already drawing civil liberties concerns from what the people who are too busy trying to race bait everything i'm sure they care about uh, sweeping government overreach was revealed on tuesday in accidentally unsealed court documents obtained by forbes keyword warrants uh, which have been secretly employed for at least several years Ah, uh, no shit. Are drawing backlash, as many argue that they violate an individual's constitutional protections against unreasonable search and seizure. Oh, imagine that. Another one of your constitutional rights and freedoms getting stomped upon? I never thought I'd see the day. Trawling through Google search history database enables police to identify people merely based on what they might have been thinking about, for whatever reason. At some point in the past, said Jennifer Garrick, Surveillance and Cybersecurity Council for the Americans civil liberties union wow one person at the aclu interesting this never before possible technique really really oh, okay tapping phone lines literally doing the same shit and listening in for special things and uh certain key phrases that were out there on phone lines yeah never before seen technique fuck off threatens first amendment interests and will inevitably sweep up innocent people of course but but they might do something in the future, so we should just thought police and fucking my, uh, arrest people on mind crime. If keyword terms are not unique and the time frame not precise, to make matters worse, police are currently doing this in secret, yes, which insulates the practice from public debate and regulation. That's kind of the, just the modus operandi of this administration, so I guess it kind of makes sense. This practice has been going on for years, but then it gets uncovered right now under a bevy of other insane things. Totally fucking makes sense if you if you ask me, but that's what's going on in big tech. I, I don't like any of it that's going on right now because Facebook is misrepresenting themselves. This whistleblower is just trying to fucking set the table for global internet censorship. And then Google's just in on it too because of course, of course, the shit pile is never completely fucking as big as it can get. With that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.